Okay, if we have a series of ropes and the two ropes are both at the same angle, solving for the tension in the ropes is quite easy. The first step you want to do is find the force of gravity pulling down on the object. Once we have that force of gravity, what we want to do next is break up our tensions into X and Y components. So each rope will be pulling both upward and horizontally. When we do this, we should realize that since they're at equal angles, the two upward tensions for rope two and for rope one will be equal. Because they're equal, we know that they are each half of the force of gravity. The total upward force has to equal the total downward force. So force tension one in the Y plus force tension two in the Y will equal force gravity. Once we know the vertical components and we know the angle of the rope, okay, so it tells us that our angle is 32 degrees with the vertical, so this is about 33 degrees we can find the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the actual tension in the rope, so we are done the problem. So again, you find gravity. Half gravity should equal the tension in the Y for each string, so together they total up to the force gravity. Then we use the angle and the one leg to figure out the hypotenuse.